Hello everyone. Welcome back to Distributed Generation and Smart Grid Lecture Series. In this video, uh, we are going to discuss about advanced metering infrastructure. The main objective of uh, advanced metering infrastructure or AMI is to enable two-way communication between smart energy meter and its main system which is known as head and system to enable remote uh, reading, uh, monitoring and control of electrical energy meters that is uh, uh, fixed in various locations such as consumer, feeder, etc. to serve as a repository of record of all data. So it should consist of a, a smart meter and also its control system like head and system and also a data management system. So AMI refers network infrastructure connecting uh, smart meters, meter data management system and elements supporting communication between smart meters and the data management system, meter data management system or MDMS. The general uh, schematics uh, block diagram is shown here to depict the basic functionality. It consists of MDMS which is managed by utility. Uh, DCC S means data and control center that is uh, by uh, from the utility uh, end. Then AMI uh, the entire AMI is connected between MDMS and the smart meter through communication wireless or any type of communication technologies so AMR we already discussed in the last uh, module AMR or automatic meter reading systems uh, is also part of AMI which uh, allows meters to read by utility personal over uh, wireless links without any manual uh, reading without any manual intervention you can uh, find out the energy meter readings so it helps to reducing cost associated with the meter reading and also support uh, building process or all and also there are many data you can store in a meter data management system so it can be utilized for for any other act analysis so basically a smart meter uh, provides periodic interval measurements which is every hour or a, uh, once every 50 minutes uh, or even every 5 minutes they can measure the uh, various uh, parameters and it can transmit these uh, values to uh, meter data management system. So a smarter, smart meter can measure RMS voltage, RMS current, phase angle measurement, power factor, instantaneous active power, reactive power energy consumption etc so the all these things can be uh, measured and uh, it can be uh, stored as a repository in a meter data management system uh, so basic functions of ami can be uh, listed here uh, remote meter data reading of at a configurable intervals that we already told either in a in a uh, interval of hour or half an hour or five minutes etc then time of day or time of uh, use metering uh, we discussed uh, what is time of uh, time of use uh, type of tariff or dynamic pricing so we need to measure uh, the energy usage uh, 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 continuously so that they can implement uh, different tariff for different time so dynamic pricing can be only implemented if you have a such a, a smart meter system and advanced metering infrastructure then prepaid functionality you can uh, pay for your energy uh, uh, in advance then billing alarm or event detection notification and reporting any kind of uh, uh, contingency occurs they notify to the consumer and utility and a remote load limiter and connection or disconnection at a defined or a demand conditions 
that is what is uh, in a related uh, in related in relation with our demand side management uh, we have a direct load control uh, uh, that is uh, utility can directly can, uh, switch on or switch off the uh, consumer loads um, in order to reduce the uh, peak load uh, uh, load during the peak hours uh, so uh, whenever we implementing such kind of demand side management uh, we should have a uh, information uh, regarding Mm, this uh, by using automatic meter infrastructure then security features to prevent unauthorized access to the ami including smart meter and meter data because all these things are uh, data are transferred through wireless uh, internet system so the, we should uh, aware about uh, security aspect also so it is uh, the ami uh, uh, also mm, have a security features to prevent any kind of unauthorized access to the system and main components in an automatic meter infrastructure systems are smart meter then second one is communication infrastructure then uh, its main part of the ami is uh, head end system and then meter data management system and then web application with updated online data of consumers Uh, even if we uh, measured uh, various parameter using smart meter and it is stored in the mdms it, ca- it it should be available to the utility also and consumer so consumer can um, even download the all the data by using some web application or a mobile app uh, the mo- f- by using their mobile itself they can uh, find out the energy usage and various measurements etc so communication infrastructure is one of the main part in a automatic meter infrastructure uh, the communication infrastructure should either be based upon a radio frequency mesh network um, or a plc or that is power line communication or even a cellular network or combination of uh, any all these things so the communication network shall be uh, based on the suitable standards that is prescribed by ieee or uh, some other uh, international standards iec uh, the communication network shall provide reliable uh, medium for uh, two way communication between uh, various nodes that is even uh, the communication should be should not limit Uh, the communication from uh, various smart meters to the utility uh, but also it should communicate with the consumer so commun- uh, c- consumer can also uh, interact with the utility so communication should be in a two way manner and uh, the communication network should provide a reliable medium for a two way communication between various nodes and its head end system Uh, radio frequency based network should be used uh, the required frequency bandwidth uh, available uh, in in a different country the the five characteristics of smart grid communication technologies are listed here uh, that is high it should have high bandwidth and uh, ip enabled digital communication internet protocol enabled digital communication then data encryption mm, data are uh, transferred uh, as a encrypted data in order to uh, say uh, in order to uh, uh, save its uh, mm, it it should be secure when you are encrypted uh, this then uh, cyber security uh, support and quality uh, uh, support and quality of service and voice over internet protocol mm. voice over internet protocol that means you can call uh, using your internet that facility is also available internet uh, calls then communication infrastructure should ensure network security that is very important uh, thing uh, secure access controls and malicious software uh, prevention should be there so network architecture of uh, head end system must be secure with the support of uh, even the firewall and the encryption uh, 
the system shall also um, allow the host based firewalls to be configured uh, uh, in order to ensure the security then next one is data concentrator unit is another part of ami or it is a part of meter data management system so a data concentrator unit is a gateway for communication of data between smart meters and the head end systems so data concentrator unit receives the information from smart meter on a scheduled or a need basis and it stores the data uh, which can be accessed by head end system for uh, in order to it can be accessed by a head end system then uh, this this data concentrator unit uh, stores the data uh, it is accessed by head end system and it it will be then move forward to the meter data management system so dcu provides a uh, central link between smart meters and uh, hcs or head end system uh, enabling the continuous or uh, periodic meter read and control and it 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 exchange the data from smart meter uh, ba uh, based on any kind of communication protocol like radio frequency or power line communi carrier communication with uh, with uh, head end system so so the dcu shall uh, ensure a secure uh, uh, communication to hcs and shall have internal memory for strong interval data for at least 5 days so uh, it shall put data from the field device and push data at configured intervals to the head end system Uh, dcu shall push even like a tamper or power off etc to the head end system even not only the data it also inform the various uh, uh, events uh, to the head end system immediately on the occurrence or received from field devices or meters and main part of uh, uh, automatic meter infrastructure is head end system so head end system uh, uh, have the following uh, functions uh, these are uh, acquisition of meter data on demand and at the user selectable periodicity that is user can any time user can uh, access the data then uh, two way communication with the meter uh, or data concentrator unit Uh, signals for connect and disconnect of uh, switches if needed if you are implementing a demand side management you need to uh, switch off or switch on even the uh, uh, consumer uh, loads then encryption of data for secure communication maintain time synchronization with the dcu or smart meters then store data for a defined duration you should store for a, for 5 days or Uh, one month duration etc the handling of uh, control signals or event message on priority uh, that that is a, a control signals or even uh, if there is a power outage or any other kind of uh, fault or anything happens uh, th this is considered as a events so it should handle the various events and corresponding signal should be given then setting of a smart meter configurable parameters store communication devices status and history and critical and non critical reporting functionality various things should be reported uh, like if any critical events occurs or non critical events occurs in the uh, entire smart grid then meter data management system the meter data management system uh, Mm, shall support the storage uh, archiving retrieval and analysis of meter data all this meter uh, data are stored in meter data management system 
ഓക്കെ വൺ വൺസ് സ്മാർട്ട് മീറ്റർ മെഷർ ദ വാരിയസ് പാരാമീറ്റേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് ദെൻ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഗിവൺ ടു ഡാറ്റ കോൺസെൻട്രേറ്റഡ് യൂണിറ്റ് ദെൻ ദാറ്റ് ഫ്രം ദ ഡാറ്റ കോൺസെൻട്രേറ്റഡ് യൂണിറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഗിവൺ ടു ഹെഡ് ആൻഡ് സിസ്റ്റം ദെൻ ഹെഡ് ആൻഡ് സിസ്റ്റം ഓൾ ദിസ് ഡാറ്റ ദർ വിൽ ബി ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് ഡാറ്റ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് മൂവ് ടു ദി മീറ്റർ ഡാറ്റ മാനേജിംഗ് സിസ്റ്റം ഫോർ ലേറ്റർ സംടൈംസ് വി മേ റിക്വയർസ് ഓൾഡ് ഡാറ്റ സോ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് സ്റ്റോർഡ് ഇൻ മീറ്റർ ഡാറ്റ മാനേജ്മെൻറ്റ് സിസ്റ്റം സോ മീറ്റർ ഡാറ്റ മാനേജ്മെൻറ്റ് സിസ്റ്റം ഈസ് എ സ്റ്റോറേജ് സിസ്റ്റം ഫോർ ആർക്കീവിംഗ് ഓർ യു ക്യാൻ റിട്ടീവ് ദ ഡാറ്റ ഫോർ ദ അനാലിസിസ് ഓഫ് മീറ്റർ ഡാറ്റ ലേറ്റർ സോ ഇറ്റ് ഷാൽ ആക്ട് ആസ് എ സെൻട്രൽ ഡാറ്റ റിപ്പോസിറ്ററി സോ എം ഡി എം എസ് ഷോൾ ഹാവ് എ കേപ്പബിലിറ്റി ടു ഇമ്പോർട്ട് റോ ഓർ വാലിഡേറ്റഡ് ഡാറ്റ ഇൻ എ ഡിഫൈൻഡ് ഫോർമാറ്റ് ആൻഡ് എക്സ്പോർട്ട് ദ പ്രോസസ്ഡ് ആൻഡ് വാലിഡേറ്റഡ് ഡാറ്റ ടു വാരിയസ് അതർ സിസ്റ്റംസ് സോഴ്സസ് ആൻഡ് സർവീസസ് ഇൻ ദ അഗ്രീഡ് ഫോർമാറ്റ് സോ ഇറ്റ് ഷാൾ പ്രൊവൈഡ് വാലിഡേറ്റഡ് ഡാറ്റ ഫോർ അപ് സ്ട്രീം സിസ്റ്റംസ് സച്ചസ് ദ ക്യാൻ പ്രൊവൈഡ് ദ ഡാറ്റ ഫോർ ബില്ലിംഗ് പർപ്പസ് ഓർ കൺസ്യൂമർ ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ സിസ്റ്റം കസ്റ്റമർ കെയർ അനാലിസിസ് റിപ്പോർട്ടിംഗ് നെറ്റ്വർക്ക് പ്ലാനിങ് ആൻഡ് അനാലിസിസ് ലോഡ് അനാലിസിസ് ഓർ ലോഡ് ഫോർകാസ്റ്റിംഗ് പീക്ക് ലോഡ് മാനേജ്മെൻറ്റ് ഔട്ടേജ് മാനേജ്മെൻറ്റ് ഓൾ ദീസ് തിങ്സ് വി റിക്വയർ ഡാറ്റാസ് സോ ദോസ് ഡാറ്റാസ് ആർ സ്റ്റോർഡ് ഇൻ മീറ്റർ ഡാറ്റ മാനേജ്മെൻറ്റ് സിസ്റ്റം ദേ വിൽ പ്രൊവൈഡ് ദ ഡാറ്റ so mdms should also support the future requirement of utility and should support the integration of smart grid functionalities like distribution transformer health monitoring system self healing system etc so the mdms shall have the ability to selectively choose the which data to be maintained and which to be archived as per the requirement of uh, utility so uh, in some cases uh, the data should be Uh, can be erased or uh, some should be archived uh, for the future analysis uh, purposes so uh, that is what is the main functions of uh, or main components in a automatic meter infrastructure they are uh, actually the smart meter its communication uh, systems data concentrator unit head and system and meter data management system these are the main part of uh, 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 advanced metering infrastructure.